Welcome everybody. My name is Greg Brzezinski and I am the director of the Seeger Center for Asian Studies and the Asian Studies program here at the Elliott School of International Affairs. I just want to briefly introduce our center. The, Seeger, the purpose of the Seeger Center is to promote research, research in teaching about Asia and to improve the quality and scope of research about Asia and also to promote dialogue between the academic community and the policy community relating to Asian issues. Uh, I'm actually very, very excited about today's event with the 228 Memorial Foundation. Um, it is a pleasure and an honor to be co-hosting uh, this event with the foundation. Um, I am, uh, you know, I, I think um, I actually teach uh, a section about the 228 incident in our history, my history, memory, and violence class, and um, it, it's it, it's actually an important part of the Asian Studies curriculum, uh, so that every student who gets a degree in Asian Studies from the Elliott School uh, learns about this uh, incident. Um, so uh, I'm not going to. I'm actually just going to briefly introduce our moderator, and then our moderator will later introduce our speakers. Uh, and then I will turn it over to Professor Schwepp, um, uh, who prepared, I, I believe, um, pre-recorded uh, pre remarks. Um, but the moderator for today's event is going to be Professor Da Ching Yang. He is a professor of history and international affairs here at the Elliott School and a noted expert on Japan and Japanese colonialism in Asia. So why don't uh, I'll leave the staff to put on the um, pre-recorded video and then we can turn it over to Professor Yang. Thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. But here, here, this one is, is correct. <laughs> Brodinski,教授。还有台湾教育研究中心,陈凯欣教授,东亚国际资源中心,Richard专案经理。非常感谢会校的教师及相关人员。跟我们台湾二二八基金会共同来办理这个重要的盛会。乔治华恩大学是一个创立超过两百年的重要的国际大学 那么，对于美国政府外交人才的培养，以及相关政策的提供，扮演着相当重要的角色。而台湾教育研究中心也开了很多关于台湾历史、文化和社会的课程。那么，典藏的台湾民主化历程相关的档案文献。还包括大量的党外期刊的资料库。那么，在整个国际情势演讲下，整个国际社会对台湾的关注，比过去更为的重要。而二二八事件不仅是战后台湾重要的人权事件，我想也是让国际社会认识。台湾理解台湾整个战后历史发展的重要的
切入点。这也是这一次入坛办理的重要意义。这样重要的盛会，我本来应该亲自来参与。那拜托本会的董事，也是前台湾教授学会的会长许明堂教授率团。来参加这一场会议，这一点实在非常的抱歉，也请各位与会的贵宾可以谅解。更重要的是，期盼这一次的论坛能够开启二八基金会跟会院台湾教育研究中心长期合作发展的契机。相信透过这个论坛的举办。有助于美国学界对战后台湾，特别是二二八事件做一个重大人权事件的理解，而在自由民主人权的共同价值上，能够开启我们共同努力的目标。谢谢大家，预祝今天的会议圆满成功。Personally, I also、uh, studied the violence in World War II, so I'm not stranger to、uh, the difficulties in coming to terms with both the historical truths as well as the justice、uh, after the event. So I very much appreciate、uh, having this opportunity to read, but also to hear the presentations by two distinguished、uh, researchers. Uh, the issue of transition objective、uh, doesn't concern Asia, obviously.、Uh, since the 1980s, this is a global phenomenon、uh, represented by South Africa's Truth Reconciliation Commission, but also in many other、uh, newly democratized countries, including the Republic of Korea. I just overheard that we have some students from、uh, Korea sitting here, and of course, there's also Uh, a broader regional context. So, without further ado, I would like to present the two speakers.、Uh, the first,、uh, Dr. Chu, speaking first.、Uh, he's currently the director of the Memorial Foundation of February 28th in Taiwan. He's also a research associate research fellow at the Institute of Modern History at the Academia Centra. This is the、uh, pre.、Uh, Uh, institutions of research、uh, in Taiwan. He earned his PhD uh, from the、uh, University of Paris、um, 
and he will be followed uh, by Dr. Uh, Chen Jia Hao, uh, who is a associate research fellow at the Memorial Foundation of the Reformation. Um, Dr. Chen is a, also an adjunct assistant professor at the Graduate Institute of Taiwan's History at the National Gentry University. He earned his PhD from the Graduate Institute of Taiwan History at the National Gentry University. So, uh, Dr. Xu, uh, the floor is yours. Okay, uh, so uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. Uh, uh, Professor uh, Yang Ta-Ching, thanks for your very uh, kindly introduction uh, to me. Uh, today it's a uh, very it's a great uh, pleasure uh, to me to have an opportunity to endorse, introduce this uh, released uh, uh, academic publication for you. And of course, this uh, publication was published by our foundation. So uh, today I would like to give you about uh, 50 minutes uh, of the uh, outline of the book and uh, uh, the background about why we published this book and why, and more important, uh, is why we choose United States, we choose GW as uh, the partnership uh, to call uh, operation with this event. Okay, so uh, our foundation is established in the 1994, according to the special legislation addressing the aftermath of the total incident. And uh, our foundation, uh, the in, our, our foundation, uh, following our foundation uh, established, uh, the in the first beginning stage of our foundation, uh, uh, the, the mission of in the uh, early stage of our foundation was to uh, meaning to distribute, distribute uh, to to give the compensation uh, to those um, uh, victims and their families, and we hold a, a commemorating uh, event to uh, memory and the the uh, uh, and the console consoling the victims. And in the recent, uh, our, the mission of our, our foundation have. Uh, a transit. Uh, in recently, our foundation, uh, the, the main mission of foundation was to uh, pursuing the uh, transitional justice and uh, to uh, uh, launch the research uh, related to the uh, historical truths uh, of the Tutuwe incident. Uh, and then our, our foundation was located at uh, Taipei City, and now the headquarters of our, our foundation was at a uh, uh, museum. Uh, the National Tutuwe uh, Memorial Museum, okay, uh, which uh, located a place very close to the president's, president's, president's uh, office. Okay, so our museum was a very uh, beautiful uh, uh, historical building. So next time if you guys have opportunity to visit Taiwan, uh, don't forget to contact me, <laughs> contact <laughs> our foundation. I will promise to well, arrange, arrange a very, uh, uh, in place, in place, uh, historical tour for all of you. So, okay. So, as I mentioned earlier, uh, in recently, uh, the main our foundation main focus on the memorial, uh, main focus on the uh, uh, to uh, launch the research on the transitional justice for the total instance. And uh, in order to achieve this goal, our foundation has established a research team. In uh, with the title "Truth and the Transitional Justice of Two Twin Instance" in two thousand seven, and uh, this research team uh, uh, we invite a lot of uh, a distinct, distinct, distinct uh, scholar uh, research uh, in Taiwan, and invite them to write a paper uh, based on the newly unearthed historical materials and. Uh, uh, we try to uh, explore those aspects which we overlook in the previous uh, studies. So uh, I would like to uh, highlight that uh, exactly why uh, we our foundation 
have do this work. That was not uh, only because we think it's uh, necessary to do, but we also want to re respond our person's uh, requirements. Uh, in uh, the 2018, at that, e that, at that year, uh, marks the 71st anniversary, an anniversary of the total incident. And uh, at that year, um, our president, Chai ing -wen, attended attended the nation uh, memorial ceremony and the state that the Taiwanese traditional justice uh, investigation uh, must meet the inst inst international standards. So uh, this kind of requirements by our uh, president encourage our foundation to launch a large uh, uh, translation project. I mean, uh, all the, the research team I mentioned earlier uh, have uh, finished a complete uh, a research result uh, in 2020. Uh, and uh, the result is in the uh, left-hand side of the slide. Of course, it's a uh, uh, with uh, Chinese writing. Uh, so then we launch the uh, large uh, scale of translation uh, translation project. So our uh, the first results of the trans translation project uh, is uh, English uh, Japanese version book, and uh, the book is a. Uh, uh, you can see the book in the right side of the slide. And uh, exactly, however, the primary goal of this project was uh, to translate it, the Chinese version into English. So that was why we have uh, this book. So why we think English is very, so important? This was not because English is an uh, international language, but because the study of the two way was exactly was initiated by the English academic war. Oh, and uh, I can say it more precisely by the American academics. You ask me what was the first book related to the two way? I my answer was this book, uh, George Kerr and uh, who wrote this book in 1965, uh, published this book in 1965. And uh, you may wonder know who is George Kerr. George Kerr, is, uh, is, he was considered as the Taiwan uh, expert. He uh, went to Taiwan in 1977, uh, 37. At that time, Taiwan still under the Japanese rule. Taiwan, at that time, Taiwan still was an a colony of Japanese empire. And uh, he uh, teaching English in Taipei during 1937 to 1914. And then he back to United States and then, then he uh, returned to Taiwan again uh, in uh, 1946 to serve as vice consul in Taipei consulates. So uh, the two instance was happened in the following year in the 1947. So uh, that means uh, Judge Kerr has the opportunity to eyewitness the process of the total incident. So uh, when he back to the United States, he tried to collecting uh, those, uh, his own uh, memory uh, intertwined with those uh, historical materials which collect in the United States and to write this book, of course, this book was very sharply criticized, criticized the PMT rule in Taiwan. However, this book has become, became an important channel for uh, understand the two to work at that time. The main uh, exactly uh, uh, after the two to work happened in Taiwan society, you cannot talk about the 2 a in public uh, until the martial law lift was lifting in 1987. Uh, that means uh, the 2 a become a political taboo uh, in Taiwan for a long time period. So uh, if you, uh, so at that time, uh, 
the overseas Taiwanese people very uh, have a very strong uh, in idea. Okay, we only uh, want to know uh, what happened uh, uh, during the 228 So this book uh, gave those uh, overseas Chinese, uh, Taiwanese, sorry, those gave those Ta overseas Taiwanese have opportunity to know what is 228. And so the overseas Taiwanese book, use this book as a foundation to promote, to launch the commemorating uh, event of the 22A. Of course, uh, later we will realize that the 22A instance somehow was a very close interwined with the Taiwan independence movement. So uh, you can say that this book also found, laid the foundation for overseas Taiwanese people to pursuing uh, the Taiwan independence. So, okay, so in the later the 1991, another important uh, book published in the United States, that was the uh, a church beginning, uh, which be, was be regarded as the first academic book uh, published in the 1991. And this book has accepted the peer review by the Stanford University, and this book also published by the Stanford University. But would I, would I, I would like to highlight that if you notice the background of the, the, the authors, the three authors of the book, maybe you, you will wonder, does the narrative of this book, um, so how, how, how should I uh, evaluate the narrative of this book? Or you can imagine what kind of narrative of this book will offer for us. The first also was uh, Mama Nails, who was a uh, uh, senior fellow at the Institution of the Time, uh, a very not, not scholar of history, economics, and the politics of Asia. But uh, exactly, uh, I have to say, the Mama Nails always be considered as the pro candy scholar. And then the second uh, uh, author is uh, Lai Zhehan. He got his PhD, PhD also from uh, the University of the United States. And at that time, uh, he served as the research fellow of Institute of Samin Zhui at Academia Sinica. So you can know Samin Zhui uh, is uh, the principal. So, okay, he also, also be considered as a uh, Taiwanese uh, domestic scholar was uh, Paul KMT. Uh, but, and then the final author uh, was Wei Er, who uh, at that time who was uh, the vice chairperson of cultural work coming to appear. So, so, uh, so this, uh, so uh, uh, until today, a lot of people criticize the narrative of this book. Okay, so, uh, but I don't want to criticize of this book because this book is very important. It was a, a, a first academic book related to the to the incident. But however, uh, in the past 30 years, we seems not cannot find the second academic book uh, written by English, uh, written by English. And, uh, and uh, so uh, that was why we are feel so, uh, so we, we are feel, uh, we have a mission to publish this English uh, version. This was not only we think we have to uh, provide over a new academic book for those English studies. For those uh, first language was, uh, those guys was, uh, whose first language was English. But the more important is uh, we think we can, we, we should provide another historical narrative that was a little different with the uh, a church beginning. And then I hope you can do a conversation uh, with our new book, our newly researched release book and the uh, church beginning. Okay, so, uh, may, so you may, uh, so then you can, uh, you can start to recite, you, you can maybe you, you will wonder uh, what, who should take the responsibility uh, of the 22A or how many people, people killed in the 22A was how was the spy, I mean the intelligence agency 
plenty of room in the building to do it isn't. Okay, those are uh, interesting uh, issue. Okay, you can uh, realize those issue uh, do uh, do a comparative comparing reading by our new book and uh, the uh, church uh, beginning. And our book uh, was content. Uh, our book uh, give you uh, uh, about uh, five dimensions. Okay. Uh, in the first, we give you a narrative, uh, a, a historical narrative uh, at the, uh, during the two-way incident, I mean, uh, following the two-way incident, incident, incident happened, or you can more precisely say, following the two-way massacre happened, occurred. So how did the KMT government express what caused the two-way and what did the Taiwanese people, I mean, the civilian, uh, how was their attitude to uh, this incident? And then we will give you international context and later our, the leader of our, Direct, uh, direct, direction, uh, Professor Xuan Tang uh, will give you a very impressive uh, presentation on this uh, issue and the institutional aspects and then the societal aspect and the, uh, the final uh, dimension maybe uh, uh, will uh, uh, attract the Professor uh, Yang Ta Jing's attention uh, that it, it was uh, related to the reconciliation. Of, of the two three instance uh, uh, in Taiwan society. Okay, so this was my uh, very uh, short uh, presentation uh, about uh, uh, the outlook of this book. Thank you. Thanks very much. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm quite nervous. I wish I could uh, speak in French instead of <laughs> English because my if I speak uh, 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 terrible accent. So, Mr. Momu, but we are component, n'est-ce pas? Who note? I use the term. To, to add massacre instead of an uh, incident. Why? Uh, of course, 228 to, to incident is an uh, official term used by the government in uh, from the 1992. Uh, but uh, eventually we I insist to use massacre. Because uh, in the report, official report of the 1992, the scholars say there are there were 28,000 victims died in this short period. That's a massacre, and. Uh, for, from the report of newspaper in the, in this time, like New York Times or uh, China Review Weekly, China Review Weekly or uh, Times of London, they say that it's a, a intentional murder of the youth or a generation of elite of Taiwan. So uh, yeah. yeah. Now uh, that's the cover of the economist uh, in uh, 
the issue of uh, 1st of May uh, 2021, the most dangerous place on earth, that means Taiwan. But the same uh, journal say uh, uh, Taiwan is uh, the most uh, 10 of the most uh, free country of the world successively uh, from uh, 2000, 20, 2018 to 2022. And also the House of Freedom of the the states say the same thing. Taiwan is totally free country. But this country suffer uh... okay, thank you. The, uh, the lack of the identity, uh, national identity, national recognition by the international society. That's the beginning of the injustice of the, the whole things. In 1945, the end of the World War II, there it's a four step of the end of, of the, to the war. The first is the surrender in uh, on uh, 14th August. And then take over in for Taiwan in 1945, uh, in on 10th September 1945, and then occupation on 25th October. And it should be a liberation, but uh, soon Taiwanese uh, are deceived. Uh, why comes the Chinese to Taiwan? It's from the order, Ram, general order number one of the Tr President Truman to MacArthur, and then to Chiang Kai-shek, and then to the Minister of Defense for Yim Chin, and then to Chen Yi, that means the Governor, Governor General of Taiwan. You can see the mark in red. Or Chiang kai is resp responsible for the occupation of Formosa and the French Indochina, north of uh, 18th North Latitude. There's uh, for the occupation, you should have a plan. And this plan comes from the Army of the United States. And the preparation is. Just like this, there is a, a course to, for the official. Uh, most of them are written by George Kerr. And here is the ceremony of the acceptance of surrender on Missouri battleship. I give you the image quickly. That's the instrument of surrender. Here is the acceptance of surrender in Nanjing by Ho Yingqing. You see the signature of the uh, Okamura, Yoshiji, and the Huing Chin secretary. 
And uh, this is a translation of the plan of the occupation of Taiwan. Why I say translation? Because it's written first by the Army of the United States. Okay. And then it's a uh, acceptance of uh, surrender by the government general Chani from uh, Andoriki. That's mean uh, there is a position, uh, uh, a hierarchical of the orders. And the first coming of the Allied power is United States Army investigation for uh, prison of war. There are there were about fifteen hundred persons in Taiwan, and then comes the OSS unit for the data OSS. In organization of uh, secret uh, service of army, and then in May September, invest investigation for missing in action person, and at last, the first Chinese official arrived in Taipei in the end of uh, September, and then. There is a group, a Formosa liaison group of the United States, and comes to uh, to to army, Chinese army, to Kaohsiung and Guangdong by the battleship of the United States. We can see uh, in the red uh, circle, that's been a uh, Formosa liaison of the United States. It's, it's parallel with the uh, GHQ in Taiwan. That's the instrument of uh, surrender. So the occupation of Formos does not transfer sovereignty of Taiwan. That's the international law of peacetime and uh, wartime uh, repeated by many uh, textbooks. I cite two or three books. They say the same. They say the same things. Uh, military occupation does not transfer sovereignty of occupy zone or occupy force to the occupy force. Only a right to exercise a certain sovereignty right is granted. And uh, for the few menu of United States Army, Article 255, occupation does not transfer sovereignty. It repeats and repeats. Every country recognizes this international law. And for Oppenheim international law, say the same things. But uh, when Chinese arrived to Formos, they, they exercised triple control. The first one is military administration, and the second one is martial law. And this martial law is sentenced uh, to 
1987, the second last long, long last uh, uh, martial law of the world. And the third one is provisional regulations or period of national mobilization for the suppression of communist rebellion. It's a long and uh, ordinary war, but uh, it's the most terrible uh, law to control the whole Taiwan people. That's the first uh, uh, talk of the uh, Chinese and the uh, Japanese in Taipei. We can see four flags of uh, riot powers. That means in in the form of uh, the Soviet Union, United States, China, and the British. At first, Taiwanese welcome Chinese to liberate them from the Japanese colonialization. But soon they found it's a government of a corruption and the incapable for good management and uh, uh, good governance. We can see the signature of few guests, uh, American. That means Chinese are representative by uh, the Allied power for acceptance of this uh, ceremony. We can see also in the ceremony, the four flag of the Allied power. And there is a, a delegation of the Allied powers. This is a Japanese uh, government general. And uh, his uh, general, Isayama Haruki. And uh, it's a uh, journey to accept uh, order number one. We see the mess outside of the uh, public hall because they welcome Chinese. They're eager to know the result of the, the ceremony. But uh, uh, when uh, Chen Yi, the government general, announced all the Formosan became Chinese in this day, but uh, they ask, uh, when they ask uh, United States Department to recognize the Taiwan's sovereignty government by China, the response is this transfer may ultimately be determined by appropriate treaty arrangement. That means uh, later it's uh, San Francisco Peace Treaty with Japan in 1951. For the British government, the same attitude towards Taiwan's sovereignty, he said, the Allied power could not transfer the sovereignty of Taiwan from Japan to China of their own, but should await for the conclusion of a peace treaty. 
that's the archive of this issue. And then one year later, that's mean 1947, the outbreak of 228's massacre. There are so many uh, criticized for Dr. Aaron Shackleton of the United States uh, Rescue and Relief Agent, it, Agents in Taipei. He report United States mistakes in handling Taiwan to China. And the New, New York Times say the outbreak of incident could caused by serious corruption in incompetence of the administrative officials and the repeatedly impoverishment of Taiwanese. And then in the days of more than uh, 10,000 people, especially the policy of killing of all the best people and the massacre in Kaohsiung and Pindong were particularly serious. That's the uh, New York Times. And also China Weekly Review. The report, he's, it's uh, the, the first uh, journalist uh, who comes to Taiwan in uh, early March of 1947. Uh, he report uh, Powell, he reports that the order of the whole island is maintained by the people, some people, of course, and uh, describes the deception of Governor General Chen Yi. He said uh, the army arrived in Kidong on 8th March that afternoon and uh, Taipei at nine, causing a B2 blood bus massacre. Finally, journalist Powell stressed that the people of Taiwan demand a United Nations mandate, preferring preferable by the United States. And the Washington Post has some report too. Early in March uh, 1940 years, that's mean one years before, there is already a report that the China in Taiwan, the Chinese in Taiwan will behave just as they accuse the Russian of with soldiers stopping people in the street and the robbing them, etc. China's rule of over Taiwan is uh, far worse than Japan's, and the future peace treaty negotiations should consider allowing Formosa to be returned to Japan or the United Nations. And then point out the massacre in Formosa. Precisely, there are some use in masculation, cutting of ears, frame on Chinese. That's uh, in the end of uh, March 1947. And then also in April, it's a uh, uh, Formosa scandal and Pittsburgh Press too report the tragedy of Taiwan. And according British Council Tingle, the Taiwanese hope that foreign country could help them to become self-governing. The best resolution, the best solution was to separate Formosa to China. The people of Formosa should be allowed to call a referendum. 
And he said also the Chinese army shoot blindly and uh, indiscriminately. The Times of London report the, the official victim, the, the, the statistic number. It's uh, 1860 killed civilian for the Manchester Guardian, they also uh, report the corruption and the oppression to Taiwanese. But Zhang Gaoxi, did he realize the status the legal status of Taiwan, he knew. In 1948, uh, 49, he criticized Chen Cheng, the new uh, uh, government general. In a con press conference that uh, Chen Yi say, Taiwan was a stronghold for the suppression of the Communist Party was in inappropriate and should be based on the central government policy to avoid any misunderstanding by foreign government. And he said before the peace conference with Japan, Taiwan's legal status and the sovereignty were merely the nature of a trusty territory of our country. So how can it be said to be the last bastion for the suppression of the communist and the basic of national base of the national revival? It's a uh, maniacal, be, be very, which should be laughed at by those who has a little common sense. But after the, the release of the uh, white paper by Truman, administration, Chiang kai say, we will defend Taiwan to the death, secure our territory and fulfill our na national duty. And we will not hand it over to the Allies. But uh, quickly he said, okay, I will end it quickly. So, in my opinion, just because the massacre of a two to eight, Chiang Kai She was not allowed to attend to the San Francisco Peace Conference. So, but. Uh, What happened in the conference in this peace treaty with Japan, the Article Two B, Japan renounced all right, title, and the claim to Formosa and the Pescato race, and Japan also has a, a peace treaty with uh, the, the government of the Republic of China. Say the Memsins. Japan has renounced, but didn't say Japan give Taiwan to.
So, uh, the attitude of the government of the Republic of China, of course, is uh, KMT for the long time in accordance accordance to carol communicate declaration of post time instrument of surrender the rc was restored the territory acquired by japan through invasion and the unequal treaty not uh, founding foreign territory and uh, the two situation were completely different there is uh, nothing to do with the military occupation. But for the DPP government, uh, Republic of China and the People's Republic of China are two different countries. For the James Crow, Crow Four, on the status, status of Taiwan in his creation, of space in international law. Taiwan is not, uh, is in fact met all the requirements for state hold except for national recognition. But because the government of Taiwan has never explicitly the state to the outside world, that Taiwan is an independent country. So, uh, thank you. I have uh, spent too much time to, uh, to 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 present. Thank you. Your plans to translate the other chapters as well as the 2006 study. Uh, because I think uh, they will all have a contribution to our understanding. For example, uh, one of the chapters that was not translated uh, focused on the victims of Lai in uh, Nam Island, Nam Benjamin, and it shows that number one, the numbers have been exaggerated, and number two, half of those were actually killed by the government troops. So I think that has done such a sour job, and in contrast, we, at least in this volume, we don't have a similarly sour investigation of all the victims of the pension. Of course, that's a much larger task. Um, so that is one question, but related to this, uh, is it the same stuff that Chen Yu mentioned the 1991 uh, Stanford University Press and they invited uh, others to compare it to. Now, obviously, a lot more documents have come to the public thanks to efforts by government and by civil society. So my question for you is, do you think as more documents become available, 
the dance in interpretation in understanding of the two a has become narrow or somehow remain constant because it's one thing to say okay we can get a number but it's more difficult to say what caused something to happen it's not always clearly stated in the document and this comes from my own study of events like the angry massacre. So, um, this is a question for Dr. Chen. Uh, for Dr. Xu, um, your presentation draws from your chapter in this book. I invite all of you to take a quick look. And I think it revealed the uh, immediate reaction by many. Uh, Westerners uh, to the brutality in the February uh, 28th. It's very interesting that the New York Times uh, reporter who was not in Taiwan was the same reporter who reported Japanese atrocities in Nanjing in 1937. It's still in 1930. Yeah, it was a coincidence. Um, and I think it shows. It's not just on the part of the population in Taiwan, but also on at least some or many international observers. Uh, this event greatly alienated the local population. And then your second part talked about the legal uh, status. Um, and here's my question you mentioned that John. John uh, and the Republic of China was not invited to the San Francisco Peace Conference uh, because of the 228. Um, I'm a little bit uh, confused because what I have learned is that it's because of the Cold War that uh, initially Britain was interested in inviting uh, People's Republic of China. And the United States was in favor of Republic of China and Taiwan. And then as a result, neither was invited. Uh, but that's a more technical question. The bigger question is without the treaty, as you mentioned, that is supposed to finalize the legal status, um, would um, de facto control based on those declarations, namely Cairo or uh, Adam Potsdam Declaration, what is that significance? Because as you know, when I'm teaching uh, the um, disposal of Japanese empire and think of other territories such as uh, Southern Sahalin, uh, which was reoccupied by the Soviet Union. It was given to Japan after 1905, after the Russell Japanese War, but reoccupied. And Soviet Union was not, at, did not sign the San Francisco Peace Treaty. But does that raise the same kind of question? Therefore, Southern Sahalin status is to be decided. I guess my question is also to ask are there other cases? Of course, if an international treaty can settle everything, that would be great, right? But we live in a world that is influenced by geopolitics, Cold War, etc. But I think it's a very important article. I learned a lot from as well as this papers. I just Hope um, we all have a chance to read. And also, the last part of the rehabilitation movement, I think, is great material for our classes, uh, whether it's on um, the historical bonds, I see one that's here. Um, so, both in terms of addressing historical truths as well as addressing national justice, I think uh, this is a very important contribution. Thank you. Okay. Um, many thanks for all our present in practice. Uh, I believe uh, they need uh, uh, patience. A 
about the in terms of the first, the first condition should we update does our foundation uh, another plan to uh, check date another uh chance writing writing papers um yeah to be honest we yeah we have uh such kind of plan uh which will, will be arranged which was because a uh, very deep simple reason because this translation uh, this translation party has already exhausted yeah. all of our energy. So I think I have to take a, a rest and I have to you know, spend some time to uh, consider if we have to uh, launch another translation plan and we, what we should do. And in fact, the, um, the, the another information I would like to each of each of us all of these is that this book not only translates that we are uh, in order to respond the expectation of the net English uh, readers. I mean I I I I I think if you directly translate Chinese into English sometimes it will feel some sentence will be very uh tricky or yeah so so that we are not only translate but we are uh, with the we write uh, uh, project. So uh so so this was uh why we spend a lot of time for publish this book. We we publish in Japanese edition almost cost one year for this book uh spent our two years uh for very uh effort so we put a lot of effort on the uh on this book. Uh so uh this was uh maybe this was uh, Excuse, which are uh, uh, let me have a I have a to take a break. And of course, um, I will bring you the your great advice our foundation. Okay, so so uh, Professor Shivanta was our director, doctor, so maybe he had power to we break such kind of uh, good advice from our uh, board. And uh, to push them to to consider does the another translation plan uh, is necessary or not? So uh, this is uh, I, yeah. And in terms of the second uh, question, yeah, you I think uh, you are very uh, uh, sensitive to notice the issue, the controversial issue in Taiwan. So maybe uh, someone will say that the 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 different ethnic, or you can say the different group, group or you can say the group campaign and the group campaign in Taiwan, they seem like have different attitudes to what the 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 triple A instance. Uh, so is you, you can say the gaps are there. And uh, the more historical archive was um for our earth should bring the let the, the, the gap become smaller. Uh, I think this uh, depends on what kind of your uh, your stance. If you only stands on the political, so the narrow always you know there. But if you are stands on the ethnic or on the if you are really try to pursue your social uh uh dimension it comes to Asian between the different ethnic, but I think you will really benefit from those newly uh uh us archives because those archives have I did not told you that for example to those victims they are very eager to know why when why my parents or my grandparents uh be killed and the, the for example in chapter six we give those answer you are 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 dead you are your tech, for example, Zhang Xiang, a very famous doctor in Guayan, he, he was he was killed by an order made by a law case administrative officer. But in the past, we suppose maybe he was killed by an order made by Jiang Kai Shen. So normally it was a totally different story there. So in so okay, so the the legal status, the legal mission of our foundation was to pursue to to seeking to, to promote the social reconciliation. So we try to uh, we make so a lot of effort to uh, to 
Thanks to Professor Yami for his uh, attentive reading. Um, yes, um, you know, comes at the beginning, they don't have any uh, reporter in Taiwan. The, the first uh, journalist to go to Taipei is. Uh, uh, China Weekly Review, uh, Mr. Powell, his editor, uh, uh, his go by him, his, uh, his, his, uh, his own way, because at the beginning, the military don't allow any person to go to Taipei. Uh, to report this killing. And uh, after 10 days of killing, I think it's uh, the first uh, group of foreign journalists go to Taipei. So at the beginning, uh, the foreign, uh, uh, they, they can use only the the, uh, the second hand uh, uh, news. Um, maybe I can compare the situation of Ukraine and the occupation of uh, some Russian in some region of Ukraine, but uh, this uh, zone occupied didn't mean this Russia has the sovereignty, but uh, de facto, they control uh, this area just like a cream, premium. Someday, maybe they have a, a treaty to finalize their, uh, their dream, the US uh, status. For Ukraine, yes, suffering, suffering. Some suffering, but it's a, a, a still a problem. Uh, for this year, uh, Japan continues to talk with, with uh, Russia, but uh, for this year, Putin uh, reject any uh, talk with. But at the beginning, uh, in San Francisco, uh, the viewers will say we think that the island in the north belongs to Japan. But uh, because uh, Russia didn't attend, they, they didn't sign, sign the treaty. They are kind of so uh, I'm afraid to thank you. So we're just collecting three questions. Uh, please identify yourself before you mm -hmm. Well, hello, my name is Garrett Van Noyes. I'm also teaching some Taiwan related courses here at George Washington and George Mason. Thank you very much for this topic. I also touched on it in my articles. 
And so did you have any point to understand history of Taiwan in period? Came over the moment in Taiwan's history. I have two brief comments. One is on your overview of earlier English uh, works. I think also should be mentioned is Alan Shackleton. You mentioned Alan Shackleton in his uh, book, From Osa Calling, gives a totally independent eyewitness view of what happened. So next to George Kerr, I always mention Alan Shackleton. He was from New Zealand. He just happened to be there uh, as a United Nations representative. And he also saw everything happening and he wrote it up in his diary, which laid on the family shelf for many years. And then in the 90s, we were able to publish that. So that's an important one. And if I also mention that here at George Washington, we do have a Dan Wai magazine collection, and uh, the chairman referred to it already. And in the Dan Wai magazines from 1980 till 1989, there were a lot of articles about Europa. And I think for the future, uh, when we have this collection digitized, which is in process of being done, then that will also be a major, major resource for you to do research on what was written at that time. Thank you. Um, yes, um, it's probably a different thing than um, my name is Alan John, and I'm so glad to be here. I'm an undergraduate student at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. So, as an undergraduate person with some um, some family ties with Japan, I really sympathize with the connection around this complex identity of speaking, you know, as being a part of the um, Japanese colonizing points. Like, so my dad and dad still live in. And not just just me, but to make a living. And a lot of old Korean people can still sing the Japanese national anthem, speak Japanese, fluent, speak fluent Japanese. So what what I was thinking about this? Um, um, so a lot of PNP people from came from mainland China, and they had to go through a lot of Jap atrocities committed by um the. The, the Japan, the Imperial Japan, Japanese Army of Green War II, the Soviet Japanese War caused a lot of like 20 million casualties in mainland China, right? So, uh, so I don't want to be the devil's advocate here, but like, I kind of, but I can kind of see that um maybe um a lot of um a lot of hatred came coming from the KMP people like when they landed in Taiwan and like Taiwanese people, native Taiwanese. The, the national could not even speak fluent Mandarin. They speak Minnan, Minnan or fluent Japanese, and they don't really look Japanese enough. Like they don't look Chinese enough of them. So we might talk about them. So like this, we we did briefly mention about the how um how there are casualties from the Guangxi population because during the two during the two three massacre and and. So how does that connect to um, Taiwan's legacy of um, seeking for help from Japan? Like at, having having the securing the legacy of being a part of Japanese empire, which kind of blends a lot of people who has the who are part of the Pan Blue Coalition in in ROC. Thank you. Very big questions. Uh, so, is there a question? Is Indian in compensation from Japan for Maori and Mexican war? Well, I kind of see that because like, the book was also translated into Japanese. I see. Okay. So, like, kind of, cause I kind of see that like, a lot of Taiwanese independent movement activists they help with Japan, they work to gain Taiwanese independence, but I don't really see that's the case. Because we, we heard about the, the Taiwan Minju War and how kind of also thought independence from Japan. Well, after the thing with the Japanese from the war, first thing with Japanese from the war, and he really saw it for in so okay. this is a very yeah very broad it goes beyond the scope of this book. Um, but there's one question he suggests that did uh, the brutal behavior uh of those uh, nationalist troops sent from mainland, was it partly a result of what they had gone through 
in their war with Japan. In other words, they have been brutalized through that war, and therefore they carry this kind of human behavior toward the elements. I want to know what we are like. We are very optimal. I just don't know this might be something to our democracy, but uh, is there like anything happening with this? Because uh, details might shape more than uh, this sense of identity. And I also have students that are very good. Uh, you also mentioned like uh, in the Russian thoughts, it's more China's war uh, was far worse than Japan's. But maybe we can say that if National units are his role. Uh, so I want to know if this might be a widely accepted argument in Taiwan society or it's just the post view. Because I'm like looking on the uh, Japanese colonization history or I'm still on the Japanese Yeah, I think it's like a But from the uh, 1930s, becomes a modernized, civilized society. So of course, in 1945, there are uh, uh, people of the defeat in the nation. But the suddenly, China say, no, you are ours. That would be great. There is no loss of the property or any but in 1945, Paris can greet Chinese, of course, but they cannot speak Chinese. They speak only Japanese and the Arab of uh, in Taiwan. It's different to uh, those in Japan. Some similar, but uh, different. So there is a great conflict of country. So uh, in only in one year, people cannot uh, accept any more the the. the on civil action of the Chinese in Taiwan. Um, I would like to uh, make a briefly on this option uh, comment and uh, please, of course, comment, please, thanks. I accept all of my correct comment. And then, uh, in the future, uh, in terms of issues, uh, this was uh, also comment with the Professor uh, uh, uh question uh, mentioned earlier. Uh, if we have another translation then I did like to have uh, uh, I wish we have uh, 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 we can make a more uh, a sneak, uh overview uh, of the all the uh, English study related to, uh, to the AA and we can make a very good uh, dialect with those um, uh, uh, English study regarding to the AA. so, I hope, I hope in the future I can have the opportunity to uh have uh to 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 ask, to, to ask for your good advice if I want to do that job at that time. Please tell me. <laughs> and uh, uh in terms of your question, I think um in that I saw my English uh my history here is not so good. I, I have never experienced to stay study in the 
uh, in overseas. <laughs> uh, he said, I grab, I got my PhD from the University of, University of uh, Taiwan. So, so, uh, so, sorry if I misunderstand any of your question, please uh, forgive me. But I think, in my personal perspective, you are, of our profession perspective, we don't think if you want to really understand the situations or the type of situations, the com complaint, which ethnic is brutal, for example, one thing is brutal, one thing is brutal, the can be troops uh, make a brutal type behavior is the right way. I think the more important is what kind of system that problem to try to face. I think the more important is if the troops launch the brutal massacre in Taiwan, so who should be the punishment? You know, don't forget in the Kibana sphere of the social aid, the then the ROC government, or you can say the KLP government, launch ROC constitution, and the constitution was based on the liberty, democracy, and human rights. Okay, so um so those uh, behavior totally against the principle of the RC constitution. So I we, we, we think though someone has to be punished uh under the, the under the democratic uh, 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 constitution. Okay, so I think this uh this is a very uh, important uh, uh the, the points very important point. So uh so uh, so um that was why in my personal perspective from our foundation perspective, I think to the right instant should be re should be rethinking about uh, those uh, issues in terms of human rights and justice or uh, uh, ethnic reconciliation. So if you know they were, they, the problem was not people of the system, or you, maybe you will find a way to more gain a more Thank you very much, Yuan. Uh, because of the limited time, we have to end our discussion uh, here. Let's give our two speakers on the We just think all the way over just to say we have uh, books for giveaway right outside uh, on the table, uh, and they're also uh, there are two bags as well. So uh, please grab a, a copy of the book for for your own further reading. Thanks again for coming out today and have a great day.